Hey folks, Jeff with Practically Tactical, and I'm here once again with our very good friend Steve Fisher of Sensible Concepts. And in this video, uh, Steve opened up his truck and we saw this huge bag. I thought it may have a body. I was pleasantly, I don't know if that would be pleasantly surprised or <laughs> massively disappointed that it didn't, but it's a really cool bag nonetheless, so let's, uh, let's get some information on it. Yeah, so as you know, Jeff, yourself as well being a traveling instructor, you always need gear. You, you, you've got all kinds of sustainment kit we need. I needed a way to organize it. You know, I've tried everything from Pelican cases with little tubs in them all labeled to just all kinds of configurations. Nothing ever really worked out well. I was looking through some of my gear bags, something I know I had at home for, you know, holding my armor and helmets and myself. But so I settled on a medium. This is the London Bridge tactical bag. It's a medium. Uh, it is a three wheel roll bag. So it does have rollers on it. Three wheels. Yes, three wheel roller bag. It's just a really great bag for organizing on my range kit. So I'll start on the exterior of it. Uh, this pouch for me basically holds magazines. I've got AR mags, all my various pistol magazines in here, from 1911's blocks to my CZs to whatever it is I'm carrying in four AR mags. So whenever I grab the bag, I know that I have magazines for whatever guns that I've grabbed and I'm taking with me to class. And it's funny, like I saw the London Bridge uh, logo, so I knew it was going to be quality, but. Even if, like from a distance, you can tell a quality bag. Like the stitching is all really nice. The zippers are all really nice. Everything's uniform. So it, it, it's the difference between a more expensive bag and like a cheapo is, Ooh, well, uh, yeah. is just such night and day. Especially, especially when you're traveling, the bags get hard to use. They get under range. They get thrown around the truck. They get wet. They get dry. They get wet. They exactly. Get That's why I chose a bag. You know, buy buy once, buy quality. You won't have any problems with it. And if you do, they've got a great floor. It's because things will break eventually, zippers wear out, all those kind of things. Uh, and the second exterior pouch I've done is just basically some more snibbly type gear for the range. Um, extra set of our carrots, kneecaps there, hats, beanies, and gloves, things like that that I that I want on the range because they get wet. We're out training in one like this. Um, an extra set of like base layers, extra socks, all the things that I may want to change to make my video a little bit better for me on the range, so I'm going to keep up with the quality of the structure. All the cool stuff really starts in here. So, yeah, this has, in this particular model, the medium has six zippered mesh compartments. All right, so what I've done with this one is I have extra bolts, bolt carrier groups, charging handles, another trigger package in here, just things if students' guns go down or my guns go down, which they don't normally because I maintain my cheap really good quality of guns, but things still happen, so I have them on here. Or I have an extra rifle, but generally I still like to have a place with first. You've got like 18 extra rifles. I know, right? <laughs> exactly. Um, you know, the zip ties are great up here, the zipper pulls for adding carabiners. Like this is just like a chamois type cloth towel for wiping glasses. If I want to wipe down after class, go to dinner, whatever. It's just there, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't take up any space. In this pouch, I keep basically first aid stuff, boo boo stuff, you know, bandages, some neosporin, hydration tablets. An extra notebook, a few sharpies, pens, pencils, whatever I need for writing notes and you know modifying things. That stays in there. And an important note is that the boo boo stuff is over here, the trauma stuff is over here. So don't intermix those two things. Yeah, okay? totally separate things that we need. Sure. Um, next compartment over here usually gets gear thrown in. There's you know a couple extra Raven holsters for all the various gear that I carry. Um, you know, this is who I work with. This is what I deal with. So I always have you know. And a certain other holsters on hand for whatever classes I'm teaching. Inside here, I keep another pack. This is a Mayflower Velocity System. It's just a simple nylon pack that holds a full set of Arc Terrex Ring. It ah. has their pants, their jacket, a couple extra hand warmers in here, just, you know, whatever else I feel that I may need. Um, one of the other important things that I do carry classes mm. good set of binders. Walking up and down the range, or if I'm doing you know distance stuff, these are a 10 power. These are new ones from Trichicon. Been using these for about a year now on hunting trips and on the range. Absolutely outstanding glass and quick clarity. So always have a good set of binos in the, in the you know kit with you. Um, this is nice and convenient. I can just pull it out, take it with me on the range, hang it somewhere. If it's going to start to get rainy, I can change up to my gear pretty quick. Just throw that guy back in there. You love gear. I love gear, dude. Who doesn't? Gear is awesome. Um, this is an instructor dump pouch that I had uh, Darren over at Agro make for me. It's a at Extreme Gear Labs is actually his company. Uh, I wanted a not quite a dump pouch, but something that would accessorize all the things that I have on the range as an instructor. So it has a pouch for my timer, which is a CED 7000. 
It has a pen utility kind of pouch for Sharpies, markers, what have you. That multitasker that we talked about earlier. Yeah, we have a video. Uh, I don't know if it's been released yet, uh, but uh, on the multitasker, really, really neat tool. So check out that video. Yeah. So it holds that. It's got some, you know, Molly Pals loops here for hanging carabiners for my gloves, my air pro. It's a good enough dump pouch that I can hold, you know, a water bottle, staple gun, notebook, a couple of magazines, whatever I want in there. It's fully adjustable the way it hangs on the belt. This is one of those things that I carry with me everywhere. It's very good. Cool. Yeah. Well thought out piece of kit. Yeah. It works out really well for me. You can throw some of this out of the way. Then uh, there's a full lens cleaning kit in here, wipes, you know, for your glasses, your optics, whatever. Little things that you can. Um, you probably can't see it real well, but on the interior pouches, this rear mesh bag that I have has about five extra slings. Mm. All various slings from Viking Tactics to Blue Force Gear to Magpul from single and doubles. You never know when students want to try a different piece of kit or there's fails because they bought some cheapy gun show special sling. So I always have extra slings for the students. Um, the other interior pouch on this side has outdoor gear, basically hand warmers, cold days. You, you'll probably want to set these because you're freezing. Thanks. Um, as well as thermocells, keeps the bugs away when we're doing stuff and just doing talk time. I wear these a lot on the range. What is that? It's a thermocell. So this is a anti-bug fly nasty thing. Uses a little butane cartridge. You put it in, you turn it on, and it puts up about 500 square thousand feet of like doom and destruction. So you mean you can keep away bugs with that? without using bug juice? Wish vermin style. Well, sorry, I don't know where that. I don't know where that came from. That, that was, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, these are awesome. They've been around forever. Um, as I start to go over the next compartmentalization side of the pouch that I have here is all the really important stuff. I mean, mm. blow up kits. Always have trauma kits on hand. That's uh, the Dark Angel Medical Kit from Carrie Davis. Great kit. I use a lot of those. Cool. Um, spare tourniquet on hand just because if I have to use one, I need to replace one. Mm -hmm. I have magnified optic here. This is actually a one to six from Trigger or one to four from Trigger kind of their AccuPower lineup that I use quite a bit in class. That, uh, I know. Uh, it's my favorite optic. Extra set of iPro. You know, I run Rudy Project, so I use their photochromic lenses, but. So they're always constantly changing, so I don't have to change the lenses. But in the event you do scratch something or break something, you want extra glasses. So I have their full shooters kit and a couple other options. Uh, when I'm doing any training with PDs or military guys, I've got an extra set of blast goggles here. These are breaching goggles, explosive goggles kind of things so that keep out a lot of dust, wind, you know, explosive residue, whatever. They're in here. Keep a full-on cleaning kit. This is one of the military-grade kits. It's got a multi-tool, full steel rod. Four snakes, all the usual stuff just for field expedient use. Always keep that in the kit. Extra ear pro, a couple sets in here of the uh, swords that I like to wear that you wear as well. So I always have one or two sets of those. And so this is kind of like, I guess, the culmination, although it's probably still ever changing, of years and years and years <laughs> of instructing yeah. and years and years and years of being like, Oh, I, get it. I left that at home. I, left that at I home. need this. I so need this. It's always in the bag. It's always ready to go. The back pouch holds so nothing. You, so you're kind of seeing into like like the the, the, the deepest recesses yeah. of an instructor's mind, which is all the things that are necessary into putting on a productive, good class with as few stoppages as possible. Exactly. Exactly. You need it, or else the quality of training goes down. The students' quality goes down as well. Right. And then you look like an idiot. Right, so we don't want that. Um, the back zippered mesh pouch is nothing but batteries. Mm. So 123s, double A's, triple A's, and some chem lights, because there's programs we'll do at night that require chem lights to get from marking the range of the students. Mm -hmm. And the front half mesh zipper pouch on the inside is extra lights, um, flashlights, various assortments of them they gotta have, extra weapons lights, handhelds, those kind of things. So this is pretty much my organizational travel bag that goes with me, extra set of gloves, carabiner, um, the back pouch on this will hold a broke down M4 as well, mm. two pieces. I can throw that in there and just have everything in one bag. Very Originally, these were designed for like military loadout bags, SWAT bags, you know, you put helmets, armor, all those kind of things. This middle divider pouch is really nice, it's removable. You can put pistols in here, one or two handguns will fit in there pretty easily. So I can literally have everything I need in one kit and just grab it and take it to the range and go to that's so great, and it's funny, so this is very new, because the last time that we, we hung out and we were filming videos and stuff, Steve had like three <laughs> separate did. things. I mean, obviously you had more rifles, because I think uh, you were doing the rifle class. Yeah, we were doing rifle class and stuff, so you needed a couple more rifles with you. But this is combined 
you know, it, we've, we've taken three huge systems and then combined them into one, so really cool. Yeah, and the thing is, they do make a larger bag. The only thing I advise people against is, as you know, is they get big bags and they throw everything in there. And then it becomes heavy, it becomes very much a mobility issue with it. You guys are trying to lift them, put them in for my trucks. This one is about the biggest size that I'll go to, the medium. There's still room to put more crap in here, but I don't need it. Right. I, I've broken down the boxes and all my gear bags do essentials of what I need to make things happen. And this has been it. Cool. Yeah. So any uh, last points and stuff like that? We could do some close-ups, get some close-up shots yeah, in there. Just get a good quality bag. Like I said, I've gone to the LBT bags, the London Bridge Tactical. Well, that's another med kit in there. That's another blow-up kit from Clear Medical. It's just other ones to have on hand. You know, you have one on the belt, you have another one hanging around. Because if you do use one, you still might need another. So cool. have the replacement kit available. Um, but yeah, buy a good quality bag, organize it with what you need. Not what you want to put in it, but just essentially what you really need to make your class enjoyable, your trip enjoyable. You can fly with these. You know, they're a great kit. They are lockable. You can lock the zippers on them with the, you know, the standard TSA pick locks. So for me, it's everything. If I do have to fly, I can just throw it on the plane and go. I throw it in the back of the truck. I've got everything I need. I just grab it from the back door of the house and I'm gone. Awesome. Awesome. And, and I think that Steve also brings up a good point, which is, he said this is about the largest bag that he'll go to before, well, before what happens is the larger it gets, the more crap we put in. The larger it gets, you'll find, you'll be like, I, I, find, I need this. I, I need that. that French press, bro, because Dunkin' Donuts ain't cutting, ain't mixing that in it. So you'll put everything put in the kitchen sink. So having a bag and knowing the size that's like the size. Yeah. Before you get into like having a 3,000 pound bag. Exactly. So, like I said, I went to the medium one. It gives me enough organizations, you know, compartments to put only what I need. Awesome. And that's that's what I roll with, man. Awesome. Well, very cool. I wanted to see what was inside of it anyway, and now everybody got to see what's inside of it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Always a pleasure, my bro. So, uh, if you like, just go ahead and like below, click on that, subscribe, share this information if you thought it was worthwhile, and uh, we'll see you next time for another episode of Practically Tactical.